hello guys this is asif and in this tutorial we are going to see how sql loader which is a utility by oracle can be used to perform data load into the oracle database so let's get started and create a simple table i will keep this example as simple as possible so that everybody could follow create table EMP NO number one zero zero rename for char two zero simple table has been created now I will insert a value into it Now I will repeat the same statement so that more than one rows could be inserted into this table. Commit select asterisk from EMP. So now you can see that we have created a sing simple table whose name is EMP. We have inserted uh, 35 rows into this table and now we are going to create a file which will hold all this these records and then we will load that file into this table once again. So I will say set echo of new page zero space zero page size zero feet of height of trim spool on. T or a data SQL loader data dot txt. So this is going to be a simple text file from which I am going to load the data. Select MPNO concatenate by comma and rename from EMP table is pool of now I will just verify it again empty so I've got 35 rows now what I will do drop delete table EMP so delete EMP select aesthetic from EMP so now you can see that I have removed all the data from EMP table However, before removing it, I have created a simple file whose name is data and I have copied all the information from my table using this select statement into this data file. So I will load this file. Data into simple notepad just to show you what it is about so this spool file was created this text file was created I will just update it little bit remove the extra space 
so this file has been created let's save it okay now what we are going to do we are going to go into simple text editor and create a file which is going to control how this data should be loaded into the database so we will go outside exit open a notepad load data this is the control file this plays a major role in SQL loader in file is going to be in file is going to be the data file which we have created we have created as you remember we have created our data file into this location so we will just copy it and paste it so this is the in file this is the file from which data will be loaded through SQL loader into load data from this file into a table whose name is EMP fields should be terminated by double sing comma and optionally enclosed by double quotes although it's not necessary at all EMP NO is the first column name E name is the second column name so this is the file which I'm going to name it as control I'm going to save it just for my own convenience, I am going to save it into this file or just remove this file just to make it more simple for you. I am going to save it as SQL con uh, or you can say loader control file dot txt or you can name it as you wish save it so this file has been saved with a name loader underscore control and what this file is specifying is are the parameters for SQL loader utility so I will just save it and close it now what we are going to do we are going to execute SQL loader utility SQL LDR loader utility username is Asif for whom we are going to load the data his password is also Asif control file is equal to the file which we have just created I have saved it at this location and the name of the file I just specified is loader dot control loader underscore control dot txt so I will specify that name here and yeah should be okay so let's see how it goes now our file our data has been loaded into the database now we will go into the database where this EMP table was empty we deleted all the records from EMP table now we will see whether SQL loader has loaded data using this control file which says that it should load the data from a file now uh, whose name is data.txt which we just created and just to show you again this is the file this is the file 
which we created using spool so i'll just minimize it and let's verify whether our data has been loaded successfully or not sql plus asif is username asif is password and if i say select asterisk from emp here we go so all the 35 records which we deleted have been loaded into the table using sql loader utility so what did we do we created we created a spool file a spool file then we updated spool file then we created sql loader control file and finally using sql ldr utility or sql loader utility we uploaded data into emp into emp table so that's all about it and i hope this video has been useful for you thank you very much for watching